Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Chrono Cross walkthrough. Uh, so here actually in this, uh, I'm actually just starting out, uh, obviously in the previous video we obtained the Master Mune, so obviously we're going to finally equip that. Um, that w the, the, the weapon is just ridiculous, it's so good, um, and you'll, you'll probably see why uh, quite soon. Um, the, the crit rate on it is insanely high, it's, you know, it's got really good stats, like power-wise, uh, accuracy-wise. Uh, again, in my opinion, best weapon for him. Uh, the Spectral Swallow, I be believe, has, like, better accuracy, maybe, and maybe even better power, but I don't think the crit rate is as good. Um, <clears throat> at least that's what I remember. Uh, so, you know, I guess keep that in mind. I, I would say, though, it's always a good idea, especially if you're planning on to do a, a continue plus or like a new game plus. Uh, if that's something that you want to do, I would definitely suggest uh, making a spectral swallow for Surge, though, because you will lose the Master Mune or Master, Mu Master Mune, whatever, however you want to say it, um, at the beginning of, uh, you know, your new game plus or whatever. So. Uh, again, I guess keep that in mind. That's uh, something that you'll want to make if that's what uh, you're going to end up doing. Uh, anyways, uh, on with the the walkthrough here. We are going to head to, obviously, this is the Earth Dragon Island. I completely forgot which world we're in here. Uh, it looks like I do need to, or I wanted to speak with some of these. Uh, NPCs here. I'm not really sure if these guys have anything useful to say. Um, okay, yeah, so uh, we obviously I had made a trip here earlier, and if this is your first time here, uh, you may actually have to do things a little bit differently. You might have to like go down into the uh, the quicksand and then come back out and tell this guy that excuse me, there's something in the way. I think that's how it works anyway. And then I think if you just leave and come back, it uh, you should be able to progress again. So, uh, it looked like that guy gave us a, a rainbow shell, though. Uh, I think I think that's what that was, if I saw that right there. So there's yet another one of them. Uh, again, I think there's like, I think there's 20 of them in any given playthrough. Uh, that is not counting, though, the uh, rainbow shell. Well... There's, there's some gear that you can obtain, and when you break that down, I think you can get a rainbow shell, but um, that's, I guess that's not really just a rainbow shell, so. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so anyways, let's continue on here. I'm not sure where, oh, okay, we already got the, so I've already been here again now. If, uh, if you know, there, there's probably some treasure chests here that, uh, you know, if you haven't already been here, uh, there should be some treasure chests around, but. Uh, and then here, actually, we're going to want to talk to this guy. Uh, he's going to uh, tell you about the rock roaches. And, all right, so he's got some special explosives. They really pack a punch. And uh, you will need those uh, in order to progress here. Okay, so let's, there it is. Um, yeah, and we're, like I said, we're definitely going to need those explosives to continue on here. There's a, a rock roach. Uh, I believe it's this one off to the right that we'll have to uh, use the explosives on. Endorite, okay, meh, whatever. We don't really need any more of those, but that's okay. Alright, so here he is. Um, so open up the... Yeah, 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 okay. Open up the menu here. And then, uh, yep, go to explosives, and that will set them, and then the characters will run out of the way. Boom! Dunk. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty. What? Where are you going? Okay. Oh, we're good. I thought I might need more explosives, but it looks like they don't leave your inventory, so once you pick those up, you're good to go. That, and actually, if I remember right here, you actually only use one, so... Not really sure why, um, I, I, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I was going to say, I don't, I don't really know why they leave it in your inventory, but that's kind of the case with all of those key items. Uh, for the most part, anyway. I'm, I'm sure there are some exceptions, but... 
Um, all right, so uh, these rock roaches, pretty easy now. Not uh, not as big of a deal, especially now that I've got the ma uh, Master Mune. Boom! Boom! Oh, man. There you have it. So, um, like I said, extremely powerful weapon there. I missed what I actually hit there, but that was 450 plus. So, uh, Lynx obviously just became a complete powerhouse. The Sonya trap, okay. Not useful anymore, but it's okay. Plunk. Boom, alright, that's that. Calling it a day. Plus, a couple more dendrites. Very nice. Alright, now, uh, you actually don't, use, like I said earlier, you actually don't use the explosives here, which I think is weird, okay? Because when they, when the NPCs talk about these things, they say that they're so heavy, he's like, oh, it must weigh a ton, and the only way to move it is to blah blah blah, or like to blow it up with explosives. Well then, we just push that one though, so, I don't know, whatever. I guess whatever. But all right, so we push that one down in the sand boil. Now we got to do that uh, same thing with this last one here. And uh, and this is actually the third and final rock roach that needs to be moved, and then we will be able to continue on. I see here we've got a yellow belly or whatever in this battle. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up stealing from it or not. I believe those g give you the yellow charm though when you steal, and uh, that's actually I, I like. I, I just like to get those uh, from here because uh, they can be broken down into uh, one of the shiny materials, and I forget which one the yellow is. Um, shiny sand? Is that that seems right. Um, but yeah, and so uh, you know, typically in in any of these battles where I can obtain the charms, I'll try to at least swipe one. Uh, and then that way, that's just one less, uh, you know, shiny material I have to get. And, uh, again, that stuff is for the rainbow equipment. There's the, okay, it's the earth charm. So, uh, yeah, like I said, um, you know, it's kind of like, why not? We're already in combat. I might as well, you know, get what I can out of it, <laughs> I guess. Um, I think you could probably argue whether or not it's a, it's a good idea to try to go about getting your shiny materials that way or by summons. Uh, to be honest, you know, four out of the five summons, it's really easy to, uh, to pull off in combat because eventually you'll get those turn uh, or those field turning elements. And, uh, and so that's that's cool and everything. Now, that's not the case, though, with white and black. Unfortunately, there isn't a, a turn or a field element for those two. Uh, so it's a little, more, a little more difficult to pull off your summons. But um, on top of all that, though, you don't get those turn elements until basically the end of the game. And at that point, it's kind of like, well, I mean, yeah, the rainbow equipment is still useful at the end of the game, but... You know, the earlier you can get a hold of it, really, the better. That's, I guess that's my opinion. All right, so what was I, I think I got a, a last hit with Sprig there, just to try to get that uh, yellow belly on her doppel doppelganger list. Not really sure how much I really needed to do that, but uh, whatever. There you go, so there we're just gonna push the last one. Okay, all right, well, anyways, as, as odd as that seems, uh, let's jump in this sand boil here. Yes. Hop on in. Oh, and then I missed the treasure chest, so I'm probably going to jump back down, yeah. Uh, I think that's just a denodrite, so I'm not really... Not really, uh... Okay, well, I guess we needed to go through this dialogue anyway, so uh, the good thing is here, you know, Spriggs says, Ah, oh, how do we get back down? Well, the, the first time you do this, uh, you won't have to go through the dialogue again, so. 
once it's done, you're good to go. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, all right. So let's jump down here. I could have, I could have just done this later on the way out, but uh, for whatever reason, I decided to to go grab that treasure chest right now. I don't know. Maybe I thought it was something that was gonna help me out big time with the next battle, but I don't believe that's the case. Yeah, just another dinner, right? So who cares? We've got so much of that stuff now at this point, it just really doesn't matter. Alright, so let's hop back in here. Go back into the sandboy. Yes, yes, let's. And gosh, wow, we're really running out of time on this video. I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to take down this, uh, or do this next fight or not, which would be extremely lame. I have a hard time I beat him in like three minutes or believe in I beat him in three minutes. We'll see though. Doesn't look like some sort of ruin. All right, so there's nothing here. Hopefully I didn't go to the wrong place. Oh, no. Oh, we are here. Okay, good to go. We're good. We're good. Huh? What? Who's talking? What's going on? Oh, boom. Alright. Here it is. The Earth Dragon. Again, I feel like I'm really running out of time here. Really cutting it close. So I'm having a hard time believing that we're actually going to beat the Earth Dragon in this video. The Dragon God's Blessing. Roar. Okay, wow, it's on. I'm going to be really impressed if I can beat this thing by the end of the video. <coughs> uh, so the Earth Dragon here, obviously, just like the other ones, uh, steel. Uh, it's got the yellow plate. Yellow plate is going to be extremely useful. I would say that that is just, eh, no, not quite as useful as the black plate. The black plate's pretty epic. It's pretty ridiculous. But uh, yellow plate does have its uses here, and I believe we will put that to good use in the following video. There it is. Boom. Okay. So check that one off the list. But, uh, yeah. So anyways, um, honestly, I don't feel like this dragon is that big of a deal. Um, one of the easier ones to beat. She doesn't really, I think it's a she. Uh, she doesn't really use any impressive elements. I mean, obviously yellow ones, but... Uh, I just didn't really feel like it ended up being uh, too difficult of a battle here. And again, we're really running out of time. So e either I stopped in the middle of this battle and continued on, or we just legitimately beat her straight up in the little bit. And that seems really unlikely. So I'm really curious what's going on here. I guess we're going to find out, but... Uh, yeah, like I said, so not, to be honest, just not a, a whole lot to talk about with this battle. It ends up being fairly easy. Uh, and I don't think I even bothered trapping any elements. I, uh, I actually don't even know if you can. I, I kind of feel like this may have been one of the battles where you can't trap uh, any of the elements anyway. So keep that in mind. Um, but even, even that said, even if there is anything to trap here, I'm betting that, uh, there are other better, better battles, uh, to trap, uh, elements in. So, again, I guess keep that stuff in mind. I'm gonna, okay, I guess I'm gonna heal up here. Alright, let's give this guy the old choppy choppy. <laughs> All right, White Knight's pulling its weight. And I... Th I can't believe how fast this battle actually went. This is going to be over quite soon here. Ch 
choke? Look at that, already sagging. All right, she's critical. Um, I believe you get the yellow element, uh, the yellow summon for this battle. I, I wanna say Thunder Snake, uh, that's my guess. So if you've got a yellow character that you've been hauling around, um, you'll get the, you know, the tier eight or whatever level eight summon, however you wanna say that, uh, for winning this battle. Uh, but anyways, I hope this guide was helpful, and I uh, hope you join me for more videos. Alright, thanks for watching.